Coach Andersley tonight, dominating victory, seven matches to three, 25 to eight against Old Dominion. Uh, I had a five to five on paper. You know, Buck Walter was obviously the wild card. I don't know who they were going to send out, but coming out, uh, I see some changes at 125. What's going on? Well, we had a wrestle off uh, last week and um, Dell won. I think it's one of those things, I think they're both going to get better if we just continue to wrestle them off, and that's our plan. Um, until one of them steps up and claims the, the spot, we're going to just keep wrestling them off until, like I said, I don't think it hurts. I think it makes them better, actually, because they're going to compete on a regular basis. They're both young, and, uh, you know, the goal is to, to get the, the, the best guy out there on a regular basis. 133, Mac comes out and wrestles like Mac, and he's scrappy, gets some shots, and uh, he's tough on top. Mac's tough on top. I think our whole team wrestled pretty well on top, which, you know, not that it surprises me, but better than I, th I thought coming in this match. Yeah, Mac just, I think one thing is the same thing that he needs to do is just worry about finish his matches. I, he had a little belly problem at the very end there and uh, um, had to, had to, get, to the, get off the mat as soon as he could, but he needs to fin finish matches a little better. Um, and I think, like I said, he, he's doing well. Uh, 141, Tyler Small loses to Makati. Makati's all over his legs. Yeah. Tyler had one shot where he was in deep right away, but how do you guys address the uh, the issues there? Well, yeah, he lost to a good kid. It wasn't like he just, you know, that he, he lost a match that he shouldn't have. The kid's ranked higher than him. I think he's a t top 10 kid, maybe. Ranked ninth. ninth, yeah. So, you know, he, he's, he's good. Um, I think Tyler needs to get his offense going, and, uh, um, you know, he, he rode him out pretty well, and I think top wrestling is good for him. He just needs to be able to go out there and score points on his feet, which he didn't do today, and that was the difference in the match. Uh, Michael De Palma, this guy, I think he can scramble great. He doesn't seem to think so, but he stops. He weathers the storm. The guy's all over his legs in the first period, gives up zero takedowns, and then gets on top and just puts the hammer down. He like, he wrestled very well on top. Another guy that did a good job on top. Um, he's much better on his feet. We didn't see it today, which it doesn't bother me. Sometimes you, know, you win conference matches against quality kids, and if you do it on top or you do it in different ways, you know, he's, he, the guy didn't see his favorite shots, which is good. And, and or, you know, I think we all know what each guy hits, but he didn't feel it. And and uh, hopefully, if he wrestles him at the MAC tournament or somewhere else, he'll be able to then score with those with those spot those the, the moves that he usually hits on his feet. So I'm glad how he won. And like I said, he wrestled a good match, did a good job. Were you disappointed with Ian not being able to get a major decision? No, the, that kid didn't take a forward step the whole match. He didn't. He didn't even attempt to shoot. You know, I don't know if that's, like I said, I haven't seen him wrestle that much. Um, on top, he went for one thing, and, you know, like I said, two years ago, Ian wouldn't have, wouldn't have, Ian would have got broke down. I don't know if he would have got turned or not, but, so Ian's come a long way just to stay strong, stay in good, strong positions, um, and eventually he did get out. But like I said, I don't think the kid, I don't know if the kid attempted any shot or any, besides that stupid seatbelt lock, we call it. Like I said, our guys use it too, but besides that, I don't think he attempted anything. So... You know, and he went out there and pretty much just pushed him around the mat and tried to score points, and and the kid just didn't do anything. So you know, when kids are backing up, it's hard to score. I don't care who you are, if they're backing up on you, and, and they're a quality kid. It's hard to score points. Um, you can tell the kid just wants to wrestle on, on on the mat, which I think Ian will do it next time too. I think we were kind of worried about it going into the match, just not knowing. Um, but you know, Ian fought it off pretty well and, and got away. Uh, 165, the wild card, the new guy you brought out. Uh, he had knee surgery earlier in the year. Tyler Buckwalter, the genius, as you like to call him. Yeah. Were you surprised with that tonight? Major decision, almost a tech. No, he, he's a real smart wrestler, and he's gotten, he's one of those kids that was a freshman, um, just worked and worked and worked. And last year he was buying Caleb Marsh. He had some really, really good matches last year. Um, Central starter at 74. Uh, Ottinger. Ottinger he took him into overtime at the Cleveland State. Um, so he, he knows how to wrestle. Um, he's a smart kid. He's never going to make he's never going to make bad decisions out there, which is good. Um, and he knows how to wrestle. So like I said, he's young too. Which, um, like I said, I, I I knew he'd be a better team when he got in the lineup, and he's back. And like I said, we won the last two duels, and he's he's been part of those wins. So it's good. You guys start out 0 and three, and you come back. Now you're I think six and four. Six yep. and three. Six and three. Six and three. Six and three now. Yeah. Um, you're two matches above 500. Are you surprised at all? You know, the 0-3 start, I know you were surprised by because you thought you were going to beat Ryder, but yep. you lost to UVA and... Well, Ryder, Ryder you know, I, I think what happened was is we wrestled the Virginia Tech match and we tied them. Um, we ended up losing on the criteria, which, you know, it's a loss, which I can, I, I'll accept that. I think our guys just went out against Ryder and figured they'd win. And, and they literally, you know, for a young group of guys, it was our second duel. Maybe there was a, a combination of not being prepared for three duels, you know, some of the blame could be on me, but I believe our guys just weren't ready to wrestle. So, you know, whatever happened, we lost that match. Um, I, I think Virginia was by far the, the best team that we've seen so far. 
Um, I think Virginia Tech, you know, I think if we wrestled them right now the exact same way, I, I you know, hell, now they're, they're without Carter. Without Carter, I, I think Ian Small doesn't get doesn't get pinned or major, whatever it is, and I think we win that match. Um, so, you know, people don't have us ranked, and that's not a problem with me. Um, they, they don't even have us in the contenders, but, uh, you know, I think we got a pretty good group of guys, and I think heavyweight looked better today. It's the best he's ever looked, and he's a freshman. So it's one of those things where we're getting better every time, and, you know, we've had a lot of older kids the last few years. I think last year we graduated eighth, the year before that we graduated seventh, the year before we graduated six. This is, you know, we have one senior in our room, and he's a great leader, and besides that, our guys are really acting like sponges in the room. They're, they're, they're pretty much whatever we want to do, they're up for it. Um, we're not getting any kind of resistance as far as how we train and what we're doing. Where we get older guys, and last year, you know, we had kids that were in their, that were stuck in their ways, and even before that, we had kids that were stuck in their ways, and it was real hard to change things as a staff. And like I said, you, we try and you do things, but kids aren't going to change a lot what they do. Um, now, like I said, we, I think we have one senior, we've got two juniors, I think. The rest are all sophomore and freshmen, and every day we come in, it's exciting for me. It, you know, it, it's kind of, it rejuvenated me a little bit, um, but every day we come in, our guys are excited to work. They're, they're, we show something, and you could, you could tell that they're paying attention. They want to learn. They want to get better. So it makes our jobs a little bit easier because we have a really good, young, good group of kids um, that, like you said, they're starting to perform pretty well, too. What did you think of Marsh got in an absolute war? The guy was leading his face, batter ramming him. That guy's tough. I'd like that guy in a bar brawl. Yeah, but, uh, he's, he's a real tough kid. He's wrestled 84. He gave Casey Newberg fits the last few years up at 84. He came down to 74. Marsh went up. Um, you know, I, I, we might lose that match if we had a different official. I don't know. You know, I, 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 that's when coach, their coach got ejected. Um, what did you think of that? You know... I don't know. I don't know exactly what was said to the ref, but he said it once. The ref warned him. He said it again. And he kicked him out. So I don't, you know, that's not for me to decide, and I don't want to get involved in that. But Marsh needs to be able to, to stay focused. And that kid was coming at him hard. That kid wrestled the hardest out of any one of their guys, and and uh, he never stopped wrestling. He came at him hard. Um, you know, it, it, I think Marsh needs to needs to learn how to. Marsh wrestles the same way he does. So it was two guys that were just brawlers and. And uh, he ended up winning, but he needs to wrestle a little better than what he did. 184, Sam. I felt like Sam kind of coasted, and he didn't really finish the match. That's the second match. That's the second match where Sam's did that. And uh, Sam, you know, he's one of those guys that, that that gets content in matches. And he gets up in the lead, and he's hard to score, and he gets content. And if kids aren't pressuring him, you know, Sam just hangs out. Where we're always trying to cha cha challenge Sam. And in the room, we're challenging him. Out here, we always try to challenge him. And uh, he, he's one of those kids that... Um, He's real athletic, really good. And when guys wrestle him, it's, he has an easier, easier time wrestling. If you're going to back up against him when when you're winning, when you're losing, my thing is, you know, it's hard to go out and attack guys when they're backing up. Same thing with Ian Miller. If a guy's backing up on you when you're winning, it's hard to it's hard to get points generated. All right, and 197, Cole Baxter took it to that guy. Beasley's tough. Cole Baxter's starting to come around. Like you know, everyone, I don't. Yeah, he, he's one of his kids. He was out his whole freshman. He's out half three fourths of his freshman year with a knee injury. Last year he was out with the, he had surgery on that knee that was never really corrected. He was out all of last year. Um, our hope was that he had that year to work out with Dustin. He didn't. Um, now he's starting to come around. He, he, you know, first few tournaments he didn't wrestle the best because he was, it's his first competition. Um, we're in the process of getting him a medical redshirt. He's a freshman. A medical redshirt this year or for last year. So he's a freshman, essentially, if it all works out, which our people are telling it's going to. Um, he's going to have four years. And, you know, he's one of those kids that needs to add 10 pounds of, of, of strength, and he's going to be a really, really good 197-pounder. And, hell, he's really, really good right now. And, uh, he, you know, so he's new. He's new to this, and he's, he's been out all last year. He's only going to get better.